Hello and welcome back to Avorian. My name is Spange and in the last episode I kind of got my butt kicked by some pirates and I've taken a lot of damage here. The problem is I have absolutely no cash and no resources to repair the ship here. So um, I've sort of been bumming around a little bit in uh, my home sector here just picking up what uh, little iron rocks and stuff remain in order to make enough money to repair my ship. <laughs> Uh, it's not it's not severe damage. There's a lot of like just whole fragments have been split off uh, And I've lost an engine um, But you know, <laughs> it's it's minor. It's minor damage. It'll be fine It'll be absolutely fine. So the repair dock is right there I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of iron here and then uh, I think we're gonna go and have a take a look because I think I now have the resources in order to repair my little boat here uh, and then once it's repaired, I think I'm going to modify it a slightly, maybe with a slightly bigger integrity field, uh, just so I can take a little bit more of a beating out there in the uh, the deep, mean, dangerous space, pirate space. And then we're going to go back. We're going to go back, and we're going to teach these pirate scumbags a lesson in uh, firepower. Yeah. Uh, I don't really have any new firepower to speak of, to be honest. It's all the same stuff. Anyway, repair dock. Uh, we are going to repair... Well, that's interesting. The the cost has gone down significantly, I think, because my crew has been repairing. Look at my health bar down here. Hull is now 100%. I think my crew have repaired the ship over time. That's really nice. I like that. Anyway, we're going to re repair. And that's going to refresh. Oh, yes. Going to refresh everything. Uh, what I'm going to do is just end the build mode really, real quick here. Because I've got a... There is a integrity field generator on the front of the ship there. I select that integrity. Where are you? That one there. That's a generator. Sorry, I selected the wrong one. Uh, integrity field. There we go. It shows us the integrity field of the ship. And you can see, like, the turrets are actually outside of the integrity field there. I think. Are they? Or is that just the default view? But uh, the little engines on the side of the ship are definitely outside the integrity field as well, which is not great. It's not great at all. So what I like to do is just trim the scaling and the grid size down to minimum because this means you can really get these blocks absolutely thin as hell. You really can. And then uh, just increase them. I'm going to put a one. Did it, hang on one second. Let me put some. Let me put a little mirror up. There we go. We're going to put one there. And we're going to put one there. Now, what the integrity field does, I think I did explain it roughly uh, a little bit in the last episode, is it is it sort of combines all of your block's hit points. So you don't just start losing chunks of ship uh, here, there, and everywhere. You, you sort of um, you sort of take a, a whole hull damage as one kind of thing. Now, I had little bits and bobs sort of poking out there, here, there, and everywhere that were not protected. I'm going to put a little bit of titanium armor on the front of this one just so it can't be like shot off. It shouldn't be because of like literally what I just said. This is where the building in Avorian gets a little bit awkward. I'm honest. Yeah, this symmetry mode, everything's sort of next to it or whatever. Now I can press control. All right. I need to turn the uh, symmetry mode off here, I think. I just turned another one on. <laughs> I'm going to press control while looking at the block you want to cover and press uh, it will automatically match the size of that block that you're selecting. And as you can see, you end up with this kind of like ugly. Now that was A. I've now selected everything. Here we go. Place that there. And uh, hold control on that. And there we go. Okay, so I've placed a little bit of titanium armor around that. It's fugly as hell, but uh, you can shape it up with some different block shapes later on. So I can get the titanium one here. I can control that over there, uh, lower it down, and then holding R, turn it round, and then holding control, place that there, and there you go. You get a little bit of sloping there. So you can quite easily just correct that, make it look a little bit nicer, a little bit shaped, holding control. And uh, our grid size is fine. Why that's doing that? There we go. It's a little bit fiddly. Like I said, the building in Avorian, you can do some wonderful things. You can really absolutely do some amazing things, but it is fiddly. It is very fiddly. Kind of liken it to um, <laughs> model painting, you know? <laughs> you have to be very precise. 
Uh, so, you know, I mean, look, look, I'm trying to get into that little bit there. The camera doesn't help. Uh, I think there are camera options that you can change and stuff. So, I just don't know them right now. Uh, this window is now in the way. Let's get rid of you. That window can be accessed this way holding space. It's really good. You hold space, you can select the thing, and then let go of space, it disappears. Very nice. Very nice feature. There we go. We've sort of done some shaping around that. Oh, one more. One more. Around the bottom there. There we go. I'll just slap that on there. I think that's sort of misjointed. Let's just select that and get rid of it. And... Ooh. That is a weird one. There we go. Okay. I'm happy with that for now. Okay, so that is just demonstration purposes. We've got a nice little brick on the front of our ship now, which hopefully should protect that integrity field generator from being shot off. And then if we check our integrity field again, everything is covered. Everything is blue. That's what we want. That is what we want. Okay, good. Uh, so the other thing you can do now, performance, uh, we're playing on a multiplayer server. Uh, where is... The other thing you do is control A, selects all, right? And then click merge blocks. So it's managed to merge one. 500 blocks were merged to 499. Okay, well, yeah. So it will take every single block that it can uh, reform into a single block and it will do it, basically. So if it's all, you've got multiple blocks and they're all lined up and they could be one block, it will merge them into one block. Uh, that's what merge blocks does. And as a result, it, it saves on performance. As you can see here, every single sort of white box is an individual block that has been placed cannot be merged for whatever reason. Um, no problem. No problem at all. Okay, there is a few more things uh, I need to do. That needs to come off and it needs to move. And uh, this guy needs to come off and needs to be... Uh... What? Chip is very weak. Blech. You're weak. Weak. Anyway, I've got to move my, my mining turrets around. And we've got to put our, our super super swanky gun back on the ship so we'll put him there you'll see super sanky now these turrets these turrets are just a sort of default crappy model that come with uh, turrets now, you can get completely customized turrets you really can um i just can't remember how to do it i think we have to go to save designs and then get them but the all the saved turrets that i have from previous years i'm gonna say they were like the size of this ship they're great and crazy uh so we're not gonna get those ones so we got a Double plasmatic chain gun. Let's see what we got. We got 19.7 on the DPS. 3.3. .3. Oh, that's a mining laser. <laughs> uh, 18. And 18.2. So this bad boy here, the regular dual chain gun here, is our most powerful secondary weapon. So we'll add you, and then we'll put the two minings on the side again. So we can just headbutt. I do quite like mining in a sort of broadside fashion, just parking alongside the, the, the rock and then just... But... but uh, We'll, we'll headbutt them from now on. It's fine. Okay. The point is, um, our ship is now super duper and back to full health. Let's uh, mark these turrets up. One and one and two and two. And we can turn off ones and we'll have twos. Thank you very much, Dry Dock. Much appreciated, Repair Dock. Absolute hero. Uh, so that leaves us with 13,000 iron and 1,000 titanium. Uh, right. Buzz, 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 buzz. Right, I think we can. Um, I got. I got mail. I got mail. What we got? What we got? Profit incoming. Oh, hey! Uh, hope your recent experiences with those pirates haven't put you off traveling across the galaxy. There are also peaceful ways to allow you to get ahead. You should try trading. Most stations buy or sell goods, uh, but not all of them have the same price. They depend on the supply and demand in the area. You should always make sure to buy goods cheaply and sell them somewhere else for a higher price. No, duh. Uh, try it before some. Uh, with buying some energy cells. They are very common, good, um, and they come in handy when you want to use a travel hub. Okay, the travel hub's new. I don't think that was, that's that been around. Travel hub. Uh, buy some energy cells, huh? Okay. Uh, trading. There we go. We need a trading subsystem is what we need. We need, like, a, a nice trading subsystem. Now, the better the trading subsystem, the better quality, eventually it starts to tell you... Um, you know, it gives you really nice... I know, there's no example. Maybe there's an example here. Here you go, yeah. So it gives you coloured, graded kind of uh, percentages and stuff on what's in demand, what's out of demand, whether the price is above or below the average and blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, you definitely want to get, as soon as you can get, if you're going down the trading route, that is, uh, a trading subsystem. And then just keep trying to get the best trading subsystem you can possibly buy 
as you travel. Now, we're going to start off, probably the first one we're going to get is going to be a crappy white one, which is literally just going to tell us what's in the current sector and what price it is. It's not going to tell us any other information than that is. So it's, uh, it's a start. It's a start. Anyway, uh, the galaxy map then. We have unfinished business with these pirate scumbags up here. So we're going to jump up there and go and finish them bastards off. Let's switch my weapon systems online. Daka 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 is ready. Let's go. Warp jump. Uh, hyperspace jump destination. Set. Super speed! Yes! Alrighty, righty, righty. Uh, this is just empty space, so we can instantly recharge and go to the next one. Here we go then. Pirate scumbags. Uh, dead ahead. Now then, defeat the pirates. Four ships are here. I'm only seeing three on radar. We've got 122 seconds before we can warp out, so um, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta kick these guys' butts. We don't really have a choice about it. Otherwise, we just gotta run away, I guess. Um, so let's see. This one, I think, is closest. Yeah, do it in a sort of classic flanking maneuver. That's fine. I'm gonna go over here, try and isolate this one guy here. Now you can get, later in the game you can get auto turrets. Auto turrets are good. They shoot automatically, as the name suggests. Okay, he's dead. Let's move out of the way. Again, try and isolate these guys. Uh, use the boost, use the boost. Gonna be a little bit more smarter. Right, 6k out. We're gonna go straight in this guy. I wanna take them on one off and one on one, on one if I can. Oh god, another three have shown up? Are you serious? Our little integrity is still good, still in the green, but yeah, I gotta get on with this. Alright, we're receiving fire from multiple ships now. Come on, get that guy down. Alright, get, get out of here. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Need to fall back a bit. Okay, let me think about this. Uh, one at the back is isolated at the moment. So we're going to go straight past these ones. That was rubbish. <laughs> Getting some hits on him. He's going down. Ooh, crap. Something just blew off the ship there. Come on, come on, come on. Turrets, turn, turn, turn. I don't know if I got him or not. I am taking damage again. I need to get out of the way. Ooh. Hearing things popping off the ship left and right. Not good. Okay, so there's three of them left. Uh, one thirteen kilometers, fifteen kilometers, and thirteen kilometers. God, they're damn well staying tight together, aren't they? All right, we'll try and flank uh, this one on the right here. That guy's done. Don't tell me another bunch have shown up. Oh, this guy. This guy's next. How's my hull? About 70%. They all got fighting me yet, boys. Taking damage, taking damage, taking damage. Yeah. 
You done? Oh, come on! How many of these son of a bitches have we got to destroy? More and more just keep coming. Oh, that's a lot of fire. Okay. I'm going to bug out. Bug out. Bug out. That is not good. Ah, another four of them still up. What the hell is going on? How can I defeat these guys? They keep coming. More and more of them. This is ridiculous. Damn it, son of a bitch just freaking dodged me. This one's a sneaky little bitch. Oh god. No, 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 no. Bad damage, bad damage, bad damage. I've lost the main engine, I think. No, I'm still good. Engines are good. Oh, we lost. Uh, just lost some chunks, but the uh, the hull is looking pretty ropey right now. It's when they come, all four of them come at the same time. It's like ah 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 ah. All right, we got. Uh, you are pretty much on your last leg, so you're gonna either bug out or or something. I'm just sort of slowly reversing right now. I'm just gonna try and take pot shots at these guys. Not exactly like ammunition is a is a problem. So if I can start damaging one from far out, that would be great. Nine kilometers, ten kilometers. This guy's definitely closest. He's going for a little boost in. Here we go. Now we're getting some damage on him. Doing the old reverse technique. He's falling back. Come on, come on, come on. Get him. I'm just like, if I defeat these two and more come in. Oh, are you kidding me? There's another one. I think that's the injured one from before, isn't it? Get you out of the game so your guns shut up. I want your guns shooting anymore, thank you very much. Die! Oh my lord! Did it! Look at my hull integrity. <laughs> That's so bad. Oh my lord. That was... That was hard. It was, like, hard. That was a tough, bloody fight. It just kept on coming. Like, it, you know, it was four on one the entire time. <laughs> oh, boy. I think the little reverse, you keep them at kind of maximum range kind of technique kind of worked a little bit. Um, we have a slight issue now. I've got to find... I, I've maneuvered, like, all over this sector and left wrecks everywhere. Like, even the ones that are, like, just around here, I can't even see anymore. Um, but we can use, maybe there's strategy mode here, can sometimes be used to see the little sparkles. Okay. I think that, I don't, it's really difficult to get a kind of gauge on which direction that was, though. And sometimes when you're in the bigger battles as well, these things will drop components. I think we managed to pick up a blue component. I'm not even sure what it is yet. We'll have a look in a second. Um, so you do want to come back and check these things for the sparklies. The other thing you can do as well is um, continue to destroy these ships. Because although they've, they've, they've technically been destroyed, they might still drop cash. Like that little gold sparkle there. It's cash. And they may also continue to drop components. Although the best tool for this is salvage lasers, which we'll come to later. Um, but yeah, sometimes it is, it is good to just like continue to smashy smashy these ships. Once they've been fully defeated, anyway. They'll still pop out some bits. And it costs nothing. Other than time. 
Anyway, the point is, we defeated these pirate scumbags. Finally, we've taken a lot of damage, though. Right, Terry is... Uh, hello. Uh, traders around here have been telling me about this pirate boss that's terrorizing the area. Apparently, he has some secret technology on him. You should keep your ears open and listen to what everybody here has to say. Maybe you can find him. While you do that, I'll try to find out what this technology might be and what it does. Okay, that's going... That's quite a jump. <laughs> that's quite a jump forward. Okay. Um, good. So we've we've done it. We've got the pirate boss. Okay, we don't have the pirate boss, but we have. We can delete these messages now. Pirate trouble. Bye bye. Profit incoming. Bye bye. Pirates terror. I'll, I'll leave that one open. Let's um. Let's have a look at my little mission roster, shall we? Missions. Um. Yeah. Okay. I guess I got something. Did I get something? I hope I got something. Let's have a look at my inventory. Subsystem. Ah, here we go. Velocity security control bypass. Permanent installation only. See, this is one of these permanent installation things. The uh, the description is wee. <laughs> bypass the velo uh, velocity security control. Leaks energy from generators. So um, gives us minus twenty four power, but it, it, it ups our velocity to an unknown amount. Uh, we've just got a distress call. Combat turret control system. Permanent installation only. Armed turret slots plus one. Defensive turret slots plus one. And an auto turret slot plus one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, we need a little bit more processing power in order to unlock another slot. Uh, the other thing I can do is get rid of one of these turret controls and replace it with the new fancy pants one. Um, but that doesn't give us any more. Oh, no, it does. I think that's that's three, eight, three additional slots. Armed turret slots plus three. Holy crap. Yeah, uh, we'll just get rid of you and pop you in. There we go. And uh, install permanently. Bingo. Because you can do install permanently. You can do that uh, anywhere. But in order to remove it now, I need to get to an equipment dock. But that now means I've got uh, I got some sexy, sexy turret availability now. Uh, ooh, I've lost my mining lasers. Off the side. Again! <laughs> right, let's get back to... Let's get back to um, somewhere we can repair... Now, my warp drive range at the moment is quite limited. Um, but the more uh, bigger ship, the more power I get, and uh, the better upgrades I'll get. That range will be extended. And especially when you start getting Zotan technology, that range gets considerably extended. So this little blue outline here is teeny tiny. Uh, don't worry about it. It will get better. Okay. Go for the short range. I uh, jump there. Battery's charging. Hyperspace charging. Now, I can only jump like this because I'm in empty space and the game is like, well, there's no point you us forcing you to hang around. You may as well just get on with it. So go for it. But in populated space, you do have to wait for your hyperdrive to recharge. Here we go. Right. When close to the equipment dock, huh? I need a repair dock. Okay, thank you. Uh, There's a repair dock right there. <sighs> Let's go get this ship once again fixed up. This is going to be a recurring theme. Tractor beam. Lovely. Thank you very much for pulling me in. Docking completed. Welcome. Repair, please. That's another 11,000 credits. I sold a lot of iron, so it's all good. Bingo. Alrighty. Let's reset our turrets back up again. <laughs> Keep getting blown off. <laughs> Bastards. Dual regular purifying. We've got a um, couple more guns I think we picked up there from the pirates. So. Let's schlappity you. And schlappity you. Thunderbar. Uh, okay then. Thank you very much for fixing the old ship up. The Rapscallion is ready to go for some more action. Here we go. Okay. So what what do we do now? Well, um, it's, this is the sandbox part of it. You've done the sort of basic little missions. Uh, you got the hang of things. What is going on here? Search and rescue missions. Uh, okay. Search and rescue missions. I've got to go through all these sectors to find something. Um, don't know what. It's a lot of warping about. And at the end of it, you might get ambushed by pirates. So... <laughs> Uh, they happen all the time. These are just one of the little random occurrences that may come up now and again. What I need to do is head that away. Uh, and those missions are going in the wrong direction for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just walk down to this sector here uh, on this little blue line. And I'll show you the jump gates. Right. 
The jump, jump gates are brilliant. They sort of keep you in the populated sectors on the grid, as it were. Um, and uh, and you and they they make they can travel, make you travel far without actually using your warp drive. All right, all righty, 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 woo. Hello. So this sector's got lots of factories in it. There's a gas collector. There's a microchip factory. Uh, there's an energy tube factory. Wow, and there's a trade station there. Uh, trade station, obviously. Great place for trade. Right, gate northwest, northwest. That's the one we want. To the immense expan exasperation. <laughs> the immense exasperation. <laughs> um, now, before we go, I do have a bit of extra cash because uh, I spent a bit of time just diggy diggy ironing and selling it. Um, so we do have a bit of cash. So let's go. Oh, hello. I need to dock with you, actually, sir. So I'm outside of your docking array. I apologize. I overcooked the engines. My bad. Sorry, 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 sorry. Right. You. Tractor beam. Thank you. Now, eventually you get a transporters and stuff, and you don't even need to bother docking to stations. You just, just get into range of them, and you can do stuff. Buy a cargo license. Illegal. Stolen. Suspicious. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we're not in that game yet, but yeah, you, you got all the sort of random bits and bobs you can buy. So, you can buy some cargo here. Um, we can sell, but we don't have any of these quantities. So, they will only buy and sell the things that they're obviously interested in. So, if you're carrying nanobots, for example, you can only sell them somewhere. Who wants to buy nanobots? It makes perfect sense, right? No selly selly, like, on a sort of universal market-y type thing. Uh, so, who I don't know, Chlor we have no idea. We have no idea what the uh, what the market is like anywhere. Still, I think it's um, just demonstration purposes really more than anything. Uh, we're going to get some energy cells. These things are, are um, you know, pretty universal. I, I think you can sell them almost anywhere. There's going to be looking for energy cells. So, I'm going to buy some energy cells. They're 53 credits. So, uh, we're going to buy something like, uh, I don't know, 15 of them. How much? I don't know how much money I've got. I've got 180,000. So, we can probably buy a little bit more. So, let's buy... I can I can store a max of 13. Uh, I can buy 113, sorry. But, uh, okay. So, let's go... I don't know. Let's go 50. We'll buy 50. There we go. Bingo. That's 2,600. We gained 50 energy cells. Okay, good. Hopefully, we can, we can buy them or sell them at more than 53 credits. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. I mean, I don't know. Without any kind of, like, market data or anything, I don't know if that's a good price that we just bought them at or whether we just got ripped the hell off. Either way, we are going through the west-northwest gate to the immense exasperation. <laughs> Great name. Love it. Yeah, here we go. And with these things, you just fly up to them. You just fly through them. They're just like stargates in space, basically. Um... Nice and simple. Let's ease off that boost right now. I'm eating through my battery power. Um, there we go. Oh, and they do cost a little bit of money to go through. That's true. That's true. They do cost a little bit of money to go through. Uh, now, it looks like we're in a sector here. Lots of shuttlecraft flying around. Looks like we're in a sector here that has nothing in it. This is just empty. So this is just a gate junction. Uh, yes, it is. Look at that. There we go. Uh, now, our little scanner that we've got equipped in our ship here, this is uh, this is this thing that uh, we were gifted as part of the tutorial. That thing is what is telling us all these little green dots and stuff around here, yellow dots and whatever. That's our scanner. So, we can go off the grid. This one is, for example, here, unknown energy signature. Doesn't have a warp gate on it. So we can follow these, these blue lines, continue to follow them um, as, as far as we like, really. Um... But every now and again, it's good to just go exploring. Now, these yellow dots... Also, the scanner is picking up three yellow dots around here. Now, they may be uh, sectors full of juicy, juicy mining. They may be sectors full of pirates. Uh, in any case, they're worth checking out, especially if they're just one jump away. That's nothing. So, we're going to go check out this guy here. Because I'm hoping that there's something in it that is going to show you guys how to make a lot of money. Okay, let's have a little look around. Okay, I'm not seeing any pirate signal straight away. Okay, so what these sectors uh, can sometimes lead to is a nice, big, easy, early game money maker. 
Um, now, I haven't got a certain subsystem that tells me whether there is one of these things in this sector or not. So I'm just going to have to look around and use my eyeballs uh, to try and see if I can find one. Uh, and what I am looking for here is a massive asteroid that can be claimed. Uh, and through this fog, this is not going to be easy. Uh, there are also resource rocks here. So if I'm going to see some titanium, I think I saw some up there actually, right there. There it is. Um, pick up some titanium while I'm here. But yeah, this is going to be tricky because I'm looking through and it's difficult to differentiate, especially in this fog, especially in this fog, whether um, it's a big asteroid or a cluster of smaller asteroids making it look like a big asteroid. <laughs> like that one right there. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. This is a massive iron asteroid. Now, I don't know if this is one of the ones we can claim. No interactors coming up. So I'm guessing not. This is just a huge, hunking, great big iron asteroid. Now, what I was hoping for there was uh, a little interact menu option to come up and say claim. Because what you can do is you can claim the bigger asteroids and then sell the buggers. Anyway, this one's a no dice, so I'm just going to mine this one because it's, it's a huge hunk of iron. Why the hell not, right? Ah, of course, you're going to be in the middle of frickin' mining perfectly peacefully and a bunch of smeggy pirates come along and ruin your day. Unbelievable. Finish him off. There you go. He's, he's finished. Ramming speech. <laughs> Too dangerous. Let's get out of here. Yeah, you better run. Better run, pirate scum. You better run. Right, you up there. You're uh, you're close and wanting some, aren't you? Take that, pirate scum bag. Not even letting up now. Take it all. I was very fortunate uh, early on to acquire that that. That legendary sprayer gun, <laughs> tell you, because <laughs> um, that thing just outputs some some damage. That thing really outputs some damage. Anyway, we're damaged again. We are damaged again, and uh, looks like I've lost my mining lasers off one side again. God damn it! It's the turret mounts. I don't know what it is. They just seem to uh, they, they target them. They target them. But anyway, mining laser. It didn't uh, affect my overall firepower, so that's good. Uh, I am going to need to stop off and get some more repairs. But I am not done here. No, 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 no. I am definitely not done here. I am still looking for that mysterious asteroid uh, that I may be able to claim here. So uh, I'm going to continue looking around. Maybe doing a bit of mining while I'm at it. Oh, what was it we picked up, actually? We picked something up. Um, oh, advanced mining. So, it displays amount of resource in object highlighted near uh, highlights nearby mineral objects. This is awesome because it actually highlights resources that are buried under the uh, surface of an asteroid, and you can get really dense veins of like iron and stuff. And that's a neonite. What? That's a neonite <laughs> component. Oh my god! What's another turret control system? Oh, sweet. Okay, we're, we're definitely going to need to up our our ship's power profile in order to um, take on that I tell you oh, I definitely want that see this is what the uh, the little mining um, upgrade that I just got is doing highlighting rocks that's a titanium rock is he you wouldn't know not a lot in that titanium rock but still <laughs> it's a titanium rock um, so it's highlighting all of the iron rocks around here uh, on the HUD there well, I had to retreat from that sector. Pirates came along and attacked again. So I move on to the next one. This is the the two of three that were around that point. And I mean, the more I've come out of here, the more freaking yellow dots have come up, really. Um, let's have a look at this smuggler station here. They're not pirates, they're smugglers. So I think what I'm going to find here is probably illegal goods. But uh, let's, uh, let's have a little tractor beam. Let's have a little tractor beam action. And let's see what they've got. I wonder if they'll buy my power cells. I wonder if they'll do that. But uh, what I do need is a repair dock as well. Took some damage. Need to get that repaired. Um, Umbrand stolen goods. Look at that. Crack containers, trade goods, bulletin board. Bulletin boards. I haven't gone through these yet. Uh, but yeah, the missions, basically. Missions. 
and stuff. Oh, hire crew. Ah, do you know what? We we had um, we need more. Uh, what was it? Gunners and and miners. I can't even remember what what we had. Now it's uh, we have a hundred percent on gunners and miners. Yeah, that's it. So we're gonna buy a, a a new gunner and a miner from a smuggler station. These these are gonna be a hell of a character, aren't they? Right. So security. Uh, so let's get one gunner. Yeah, and one miner. Have they got any miners here? Actually, I don't have any miners here. Pilots. Pilots. Great place to pick up pilots. Of course. Um, there we go. So we got a uh, gunner. Let's uh, minus. Yeah, and then um, I thought we had. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is it only 100%? I just bought like. Assign all rounder crew member to join this position. No, no, no. Unassign all rounder crew. I thought I bought a gunner. Did I lose a gunner? I don't understand. Why? What? Why? Oh, I need I need three. I've got two out of three. Let's buy another one. Buy another one. This is fine. Buy another gunner. We want qualified gunners. They're going to increase our um, gunning capacity. Did I just... Did that happen? One of five. Higher. One gunner. Minus credits. Now we've got 3.5 uh, three. What? Warning, this will dismiss the crew member. They will be gone. No money will be turned. Oh, no! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I thought, bugger. That will dismiss the crew member. Okay. Unassign all-rounder. Okay, right. Uh, well, that's only hitting 100%, which is assign an all-rounder. Ugh. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Well, there we go. Uh, so we could uh, we could add more engineers, and they might increase our uh, engine efficiency, which is already running at 150% in fairness. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Okay, what else you got? What else you got? Da, 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 da. Trade goods. Buy my energy cells. Energy containers. Bastards. <laughs> they buy corn. <laughs> corn was on sale at that place that we bought stuff. Uh, fusion generators, gems, gold, of course. Um, and various bits and indeed bobs in between. Okay, fine. Well, uh, you don't want my energy cells then, you know. Okay, well, screw you. What else we got? Buying cargo license. Our records say that you are not allowed to do business with you. <laughs> so yes, there is a there is a diplomatic -y thing going on as well. I can't remember how to get into that. That's going to be up here somewhere. Diplomacy. We're neutral with these. Um... Orenner. Orenner. Uh, apparently, I've bumped into Korean wonder somehow and tire to uh, and uh, Flapasala. Alton smugglers. Neutral. Pirates, scumbags, and the Fabathu Dominion, who, um, you know, is the, the the main sort of, this is this sort of pinky area, uh, the, sorry, sorry, the bluey got a green area where I started. Uh, oh my god, look at all the little distress calls everywhere. I am in no condition for your distress calls, I'm really sorry. Anyway, we're going to move on to the last sector here. I think I've mopped up the titanium I can. Uh, tell a lie, maybe there's a little bit over there, hidden in the rocks, in the cheeky little rock here. A little bit of titanium. May, may I have, Liz? No, I don't know why why that's being highlighted. It's a lie. Very well. Never mind. Uh, I am on a massive titanium hunt because I want to upgrade my sh entire ship to titanium. So I'm going to need about twenty thousand titanium, I think. I don't think it's that much, but you'd get the idea. Alrighty, Roo. We are in uh, another smuggler sector by the look. Yeah, there's another smuggler hideout here. Ooh, this is interesting. Um, I still don't have a trade system or anything, but I wonder if that smuggler hideout will be trading with the other smuggler hideout. They can make a little bit of profit. They can be a little bit of profit. I don't know, but there's some titanium here. Uh, definitely some titanium. There may also be giant asteroids hidden. Uh, among there. I really wish I could find one and I could show you guys what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, because they are cheeky little money makers early on. If you can find a big old asteroid, um, you can sell them, basically. You can sell them and you get like 200,000 credits or something, depending on your standing. There's a big old iron asteroid. Unfortunately, you can't claim those ones. You just mine them out. Um, yeah, I don't think there is any in here. I'm just looking around, looking at the silhouettes. I'm not seeing much. But eyeballs can deceive. Honestly, you don't know. Until you get the valuables, uh, the valuable scanner ship subsystem, when you go into a system, it'll tell you if there's valuables there or not. It won't tell you necessarily where they are until you get, like, a really good one. But um, it'll just say, hey, there's something valuable here. Good luck. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Off you go. Anyway, right. I will do a little bit more mining. Then I think what we're going to do is we're going to head back to civilization. We're going to go down one of these warp lanes again. See if we can find a repair dock. Otherwise, we have to go all the way back here. Which is, you know, one gate away, but whatever. Um, hopefully, we can find one on, on our actual direction that we're trying to go. Repair up. And then continue, I think, hopefully, um, getting this ship up to full titanium. If we get it up to full titanium, it will have more power. I think we can get more subsystems in. It will be uh, more armoured. It won't die so easily. Um, <laughs> and it just generally, it's just better. It's just better. Oh, secret stash. Secret stash. Over. Stuff. Gibbs. 45,000 credits. And more still floating around. Come on, come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Oh, 57,000 credits. Holy moly, that was beautiful. Search for information. History of the Galaxy, Chapter 3, The Great War. The Great War between the United Alliance and the Zotan was the most brutal in history for several decades. The two parties fought 38 battles and uncountable skirmishes for the power and territory. Neither had any technological advantage or larger numbers to allow them to get the upper hand, but it was only the 39th battle that the UA lost for good. Even though their numbers were reduced and their soldiers weak, they entered the battle with hopeful fervor. And they were led by the Hati, the most powerful faction of that time, with the most battle experience. They fought fiercely, and while they didn't manage to break the Zotan lines, they still forced the enemy to give up one sector after the other. All of a sudden, the Zotan army decided to pull back, drunk with happiness, over their presumed victory. The army of the UA did not chase the Zotan, but remained where they were to care for their wounded and burn their dead. This was their undoing. Ooh. Dan dan dan. Yeah, from what you hear, the Zotan. Bastards. Kill them all. Kill them all! I don't know what my lasers I'm pointing at. <laughs> They're all like, whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah. So I've come back to uh, the home sector here, uh, just to repair the ship. So we've got uh, we've got everything nicely repaired. Everything's back uh, and and as it was before. I put the tri triple point defense cannon that I managed to get uh, on the bottom of the ship there. That's a nice little thing that'll automatically uh, shoot for us. It's a point defense, so I should really set it to shoot down fighters and torpedoes, but I'm not really getting those yet, so I've just left it on shoot everything, basically. Um, and then, of course, the uh, the sprayer TR and the regular dual chain gun as normal on the top there. Great. Okay, so we just need to add the mining lasers back since they got blown up. Uh, so let's grab regular purifying mining lasers. Tech 7, I guess that one. Well, I got one of those and two of the other. Light improvement, I guess. There we go. Okay, two melee lasers are back, and then we got to do group group. Done. Okay, so this is what I'm hoping we've got enough titanium to do this. 6,000 titanium is not a great deal. So, uh, modify the whole ship. Down here is an amazing. You can scale the ship up. Uh, I can also uh, apply. So, this. this this thing here, uh, change everything to titanium. Sim single drop down. Gonna cost me 5,000 titanium to do so. Which I have. I have 6,000 titanium. I'm gonna get 5,000 iron back. Bingo. The entire ship is now made of titanium. <laughs> Bingo! So, that should. That's given us another boost in energy. Um, I don't know if it's given us any more. So, a power processing power 640. 1.25 still so I think we need to scale the ship up entirely in order to uh, get any more processing power out of it we need 800 processing power in order to get the next slot for any of these sort of upgrades and stuff that we got here uh, the, all the upgrades I've got installed now installed permanently they've got a little anchor icon in there so if I want uh, to put in I'm not even sure where I got this from actually <laughs> exceptional object detector here uh, we can maybe... Can we remove that now? I'm at an, No, I need to be in an equipment dock. Sorry, this is a repair dock. Uh, so let's come out of build mode here. Where is the equipment dock around here? There it is. Over there. Let's go to the equipment dock. I think we, if we're in three kilometers of that, then we can uh, remove... Safely remove the uh, objects that are... Installed permanently. Oh, look at all this stuff here. Or oh, are these shuttles? I thought they were glowies. They're actually shuttle engines that... Ah, it's cool. 
<laughs> so what I mean about Vorian is just the space is so much more alive in Vorian. You get all these little shuttlecraft ships flying around and stuff. You can't really interact with them. They're not really there. They're just decorative. But still, they look awesome. And it's very, very cool to see little ships flying between stations all the time and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's alive. It's alive. And you're flying around in this big old frigate or whatever it is next to these shuttlecrafts. Yeah. There's a, there's a, a decent sense of scale, I suppose. Okay, so here we go. We can now remove this. So this is... Is this the same thing? Object detector. Detects and highlights all interesting objects displays a notification when interesting items were detected. This is... Um, this is what I was talking about earlier. When I was talking about something that detects valuable objects. That's a difficult because that thing detects deep space stuff I, uh, on my radar. Uh, I, I want both of these. I want that one and this one. They're both bloody useful. Uh, that, however, is better than this, so we can remove that one. Okay, and put that one in instead, and install permanently. There we go. So, yeah, that consumes a bit more energy. We're going to have to upgrade our <laughs> generator soon. The velocity thing, to be honest, I'm probably not going to use that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell that. Um, we need a docking, docking direction, please, boss. Dockety dock, dock, dock. Tractor beam, please. Thank you very much. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, so yeah, let's go and sell trade equipment, sell items. So I'm going to sell the velocity control. That's 23 grand. Very nice, very nice. Uh, quality double chain gun, titanium weapon. So we've got some turret control systems here that I'm no, no longer going to be using. I'm going to keep one of them, to be fair. Uh, point defense cannon, regular purifying, standard dual chain guns. Again, I'm not going to use these either, so I might as well get rid of those, right? D tier revealing radar booster. Well, I've just put in a blue one instead, so I can get rid of that. And that brings us up to 290,000 credits. Not bad. Uh, so let's have a look, see what we can get subsystems wise. Actually, turret. Now that we've got titanium on, we can actually get titanium quality turrets. Here is a salvaging laser. Ah. Well, well, well. Now, a salvaging laser. Just to make sure there isn't a better one here. I don't think there is. Salvaging laser is brilliant. Now, if uh, we come across those wrecks again. Now this salvaging laser will be able to um, salvage anything made of titanium or better. So that is really, really good. Uh, there's an efficient dual purifying mining laser up here as well, which would be very nice to replace one of my. So I'm going to get a salvaging laser and I'm going to get this very nice um, mining laser as well. Uh, it's an iron one. So actually, ooh, should I? That seems, I may wait. Actually, I was, I thought that was titanium. Forgive me. I'm going to not buy that one. It's an iron quality mining laser. We want to go uh, up and get ourselves a titanium quality mining laser. That's really what we want. Uh, to generator boosters and stuff. I tell you what, generator booster would come in handy at some point. And you can sort of see you get really good quality stuff here. But obviously the um, dry docks, uh, the, the equipment docks, the further in to the galaxy you go, the higher quality they, they can become. Uh, so it's worth maybe holding out until um, we can get a titanium quality one. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly fly back here and go up to this one. Look how far that one goes. It seems to go quite far. So, and we're obviously heading towards, we want to head towards the center of the galaxy. So uh, that one or that one, and this one's got a longer line. So we're going to go and jump into that one and get ourselves, hopefully into the titanium districts where all the asteroids, pretty much all of them are, uh, are titanium. That's our um, new mission. So we're going to say goodbye to this sector because we're probably never going to come back here again. And uh, we're going to go some distance now. Alrighty, so we have now travelled quite a distance, actually. That's where we were. We're now up here. Now, we might be, I think, approaching the sort of titanium zones. Now, if I remember correctly, it's like iron, titanium, neonite, zeonite, or trinium, somewhere in there. I think there's overlap as well, because Avorian is obviously right in the middle here. You've got the, like, iron, and then the titanium, and neonite, and trinium, and zotian, whatever. I can't remember all the materials, um, because uh, we haven't even found them yet. Um, turn on, what is it? A zanian, or organite as well. Organite, I forgot about organite. Organite is kind of like... Like really really tough but really really heavy as well so um okay we are looking for a place now to sell our 
uh, energy cells. Now, I had a mission. Um, if I just bring that up a second. Where's the missions? The rule of trade. Here's a mission. Sell 100 energy cells to another station. Sell them for more than 55 credits per unit, if possible. Um, so let's see. We've got a chemical factory here. Let's see what you're buying. I could sell energy cells at 35. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they've got plenty in stock. So, of course, they're... Uh, they're not going to be too worried about um, paying very much for those. So what else we got? Uh, we can sell energy cells at 35. See, you're at 35. You've got zero. Well, this should this should be higher. This should be a much higher price. Unbelievable. We might have to go further afield to sell our energy cells. But factories are the place to sell them, really are. Um, so it's just a case of going through each one. You're 35 as well. You, you all suck. You all suck. You want your freaking energy cells. You know, no respect. No respect. And, you know, I'm also neutral to this faction as well. I'm not sure if that has any kind of bearing. It probably does. What about the trading post up here? Trading post is usually the last place you'd get a good price for energy. Anything. But, uh, yeah, no, they're not even buying energy cells. So we do need to carry on looking through uh, the sectors that we explore. Uh, what are these? These look like, what, containers? trying to select one now so far away container yeah little ch church of the whatever it is utnugs or the church of the utnug sector <laughs> i don't even know um and there we are we've actually traveled quite a distance now what i'm interested in knowing is actually what is the main material up in this area and it should be titanium now this particular sector of space doesn't look like it's got anything uh, really going for it in terms of materials, but there is a titanium rock and there is an iron rock. So, hmm. um, really hoping to get more titanium than iron at this point. Uh, let's have a look then. So we've got our our radar is absolutely going nuts around here. Look at all these green blobs. So these green blobs are all kind of like populated systems. The yellow ones may be pirate activity. Maybe they've got valuable commodities there as well. Worth checking out at some point. But right now. I want to get a real good stockpile of uh, titanium in order to bring in another uh, of my Catlet frigates here uh, in titanium to uh, get it manned by another captain, right? Because this is what you can do in this game. You can actually uh, hire captains and other crew in other ships and then order them about, basically. Tell them to go and do stuff. It's amazing. Uh, so we, we, as soon as possible, want to get an automated supply of titanium coming in um really so i'm gonna be looking around for a really good high concentration asteroid fields full of resources there's a few rocks here and there on this one it's not really uh that brilliant but look there's there's titanium rocks are becoming a little bit more frequent now so let's press on through this northwest gate here uh and see if we a can find somewhere to sell our solar cells. B, find somewhere to set up a mining operation. That's really what we want to be doing now. This is potentially what I'm talking about right now. Look at all the asteroids here that could potentially be swimming in titanium. I'm seeing titanium already. Um, there is something strange here, actually. There's something called a travel hub. And now, I don't think these existed before. If they did, I'm not remembering them. Um, yeah. Yeah. This is new. This is new and shiny to me. So I don't know what travel hubs are. I'm guessing they're some kind of like airport type thing. But in space. I don't know if they're a long range warpy distancey kind of fast travel type thing. We're going to interact with it. Uh, you're now talking to an automated integration system in the travel hub. Uh, what do you need? Travel hub. Trade goods. Trade goods. Do you want energy sales at 38? You guys suck. You know that? <laughs> Our records say that we're not allowed to do business with you. Okay. Come back when your relations with our faction are better. Okay. What about then? Uh, your bulletin board. Ah. Uh -huh. I need somebody with special skills, but I won't just work with anyone. Meet me in a safe location so that I can determine whether you're worthy of a large awards that are in store for you. Uh, resource. 12 fusion cores. See? I, I can do these things, and um, that's a reward of 300,000, but uh, you need 12 fusion cores in 30 minutes, so you better kind of plan wisely about where to get these fusion cores and whatnot. Anyway, I don't know what the travel hub is. We're not going to be able to use it for a while. There is, it would seem, a good source of titanium in around here, though. So 
Um, maybe this is where we need to kind of start our mining operation. Let's have a little look at the map, see here. We've got a lot of, so many green dots floating off everywhere. We've got so many green dots that we need to explore and uh, figure out. But I think we are now, I think it's safe to say that we are now well within Titanium Alley. Uh, there's still iron rocks and stuff here. There, there is always a lo o o an overlap, but uh, yeah, Titanium Alley, Alley, baby. What we wanted. We want all these titanium rocks. I've only got 1,400 titanium, so I'm going to be doing a bit of mining in order to get a another fully titanium catler in that we can put a captain in. Okay. Right, I'm going to do, do some exploring, I think, of these local green dots and try and get a big sort of picture of the area pinned out and mark out areas with lots of asteroids. This one's got 1,900 but that's actually, there's not even that many. I've seen asteroid fields with 5,000 so plus asteroids in them. Let's, um, let's see what we can find. Do a bit of exploring. Holy jackpot, ladies and gents. Holy cow. This is what I'm talking about. This is the kind of sector I'm talking about. This is where you want, you like, to set up an automated mining operation. 2,800 asteroids. Not only that, this place is completely chocker full of containers. Everywhere. Now, I think these containers are supposed to be like gravestones or something, you know. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure, but there's just thousands of them. <laughs> I also wonder, I do, I wonder if there is a big giant asteroid in this space somewhere that we can perhaps claim. But that's going to wait until uh, next time, ladies and gents. What we're going to do in the next episode is exactly that. We're going to see if we can get ourselves another ship, a captain and set up some automated mining. That is going to give us a nice little supply of materials uh, for quite some time. Uh, in the meantime, <laughs> I've got my work cut out to me. These containers, I don't think I can access them. Um, you know, I can select them and stuff, but I can't access them. And they don't say that they're owned by anyone, but every... Not necessarily every single one of these, but there may be one of these among them. One or two around. Um, that can be accessed and it's a case of finding them and uh, they have they have treasure in them somewhere <laughs> this is where I need that like object detector, I really do this would actually, you know, give me the direction of uh, which ones are accessible and which ones are not they don't seem they're owned by anyone so um, I don't know, I might be able to destroy them, who knows in any case there's, uh, there's a crap load of materials here there's a crap load of uh, titanium um, and potentially a big old asteroid but like I said that is going to be all for today uh, we've only just, we're only just getting started we really are uh, I hope you enjoyed thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time until then take care bye bye